So, class, did you understand our lesson for today? Mm, sure? Okay, what did you understand? About the types of figures of speech and what are those types? Hannah, you have there the simile, metaphor, and personification. So what is simile? Bebot. Yes, it used to compare things with the use of as and like. How about mm, the metaphor? Marcel. Yes. It used to compare things also, but it doesn't use the word like or as. How about the last figure of speech? We have their personification. Felix. Yes. It gives human characteristics to non-living things. Very good. My students are really listening. Hmm. I appreciate that. So now, class, let's try to see, since you listened to our discussion, now let's try to see if you really understood our discussion. So, I have here um, an activity. I will just sit, class, ha? Huh? Okay. There you go. I will be reading lines from poems. And what you're going to do is to... Clap your hands if the line shows an example of simile. Stamp your feet if it is a metaphor. And nod your head if it is a personification. So again, what you're going to do, if it is simile, you will, yes, yeah, simply clap. Clap your hand. If it is metaphor, Yes, you're going to stomp your feet. How will you stomp your feet? Yes, it's like this. And if it is personification class, you will nod your head. So are you ready? I can't hear you. Are you ready? Yes. That's it. Let's start. First poem. Clouds all like silver light. On low green hills, clouds are same as huge butterflies, radiant with rays. What is it? Clap, stomp, or not? Yes, why are you clapping your hand? Yes, because it's a very good, it's a simile. How about this second poem? The night was creeping on the ground. She creep and creep and did not make a sound. What is it? Clap, stomp, or not? Very good. So it is a personification. Third poem. Hmm, I hope you will not be confused with this one. Let's try. The sun is an orange dingy. It is a golden coin. Shut down a train heaven. Clap, stomp, or not? <laughs> oops, oops, oops. Some are clapping their hands. Some are stomping their feet. Again. The sun is an orange tinsley. It is a golden coin. Shut down a train heaven. What is it? Hmm. Some are still clapping their hands. For those who are stamping their feet, you are correct because it is an example of metaphor. Very good. Again, simile uses the word like or us. In the poem that I read earlier, do you hear the word like or us? No, right? So it's a metaphor okay understood okay let's have there the fourth point 
sweet. There you go. Gentle as a feather, softer than a snow. Quiet as a cat, here comes the evening breeze. Clap, stomp, or not. Yes, it's a simile. Very good. Last poem. It's spring and the garden is changing its clothes. Putting away its dark winter suit. It's very obvious already. What is it? Very good personification. Clap your hands, class. Do you want another clap? Okay, let's try another clap. It's like this. Do you know the Jolly Bee clap? It's like this. One, two, three, Jolly Bee, Jolly Bee. Oh, no, it's not. One, two, three, Jolly, Jolly Bee. It's like this. Again, let's do it together. One, two, three, Jolly, Jolly Bee. Very good. So now, let's proceed to your written activity. Okay, kindly read the direction or the instructions. So, in a one whole sheet of paper, you copy and answer the following, okay? So, what you're going to do is, you write S for simile, mm -hmm, M for metaphor, and P for personification. So, write your answer before the number. I will just give you, oh no, I don't have the clock. There you go. 10 to 15 minutes? Is that okay? Okay. So start answering class. Time starts now. Kaido, <laughs> start answering. Boys at the box, stop talking. Your classmates are answering. Two minutes. What number are you now? Number eight? Number nine? Okay. Take your time. Still have time, class. One minute remaining. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Time's up. Okay, raise your ball pen and your paper. Mm, why is it I can still see two students who are not Raising their ball pen and their paper. Okay, very good. So now, class, um, exchange your papers. Do it in a clockwise. How are you going to do that? Yes, in a clockwise manner. Okay, at the count of one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, let's answer. Okay, everyone, read number one. Yes, we have there. Anna was as brave as a lion. So the answer is simile. How about number two? Yes, metaphor. Number three, personification. Number four. Yes, simile. Number five. Personification. Number six. Personification again. Number seven. You have their simile. Number eight. Simile again. Nine. P for personification. And number ten is. Yes, metaphor. So. Are you done checking? Okay. Return your papers now. Count of five. 
four, three, two, and one. Who got the perfect score? Hmm. Most. Okay, very good. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Wow. No one got five, six, or seven. Okay. You you pass now your paper in front. Um, front seaters, collect the paper and then pass it to me. Later, okay, later. So now, class, do you have questions or clarifications before I will give you summative and your formative assessment? None so far? Okay, let's have your some I mean your formative assessment. Actually, your formative assessment is a quiz. No worries, it's a very short quiz. I think 10 items only. But it is not a written manner. You will do your quiz online. You still have the quizzes app. We use that in our science subject, right? You still have that app? Why? You uninstalled it? <laughs> Full storage. No worries, no worries. I will give you time to install the app. So, what you're going to do, class, is that um, I will send this link in our messenger in our group chat. So, what you're going to do is to simply click the link and then the quiz will appear take note read the instructions carefully because you have one attempt only to answer the quiz i will just give another chance to those who have valid reason but if not one attempt only okay okay So now let's have your summative assessment. Are you ready? It's a performance test. I know it's a written actually. But you will encode it. Okay, there you go. So using a Microsoft Word, you will create a poem. What you will create? A poem. With two stanzas, and each stanza must have four lines. And what you're going to do is, of course, you will use figurative languages or figures of speech. The three figures of speech, the simile, metaphor, and personification must be all present in your poem. Okay? You will encode it, yes. Where will you? Do it in the Microsoft Word. So, oh, before I forgot, print your work because next meeting, you will recite or read your poem in front of the class. You're afraid? No, you shouldn't. You have to be confident because it's your own made poem. So be proud of your work. Okay? Don't be shy, class. Don't be shy. No worries. I will give you a rubric as a guide. So, here's your rubric for the poem. So there are how many categories? Three categories. We have there the cohesiveness, use of figurative languages, and also the convention. So each category has equivalent points. So you have to do your very, very, very best. Okay, so that you can get a perfect score or a passing score. Is that clear? No more questions? I am so excited for your poem class. I know my students can do it. 
So you believe in yourself, okay? Okay. So no more questions for your um, work? None so far? Before I will give you assignment? Okay. Okay, so this is your assignment class. Um, everyone, read your assignment. Okay, so in your English notebook, you will write three. How many examples? Three examples for simile, metaphor, and personification. And please, don't give examples that were already given in our activity or discussion. So, do your assignment and pass it next meeting. Okay? Is that clear? Very good. So, I guess since you don't have question or clarification, let's Call it a day, class. But before we leave, let's have the prayer. Stephanie? Just stay in your place. Father, it's time the Holy Spirit. Thank you to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Father will say goodbye. I will leave you this goal. Everyone read a sort of inspiration or motivation. Very good. So, teacher GP believes in you. Someday, you will be a successful learner. So, believe in yourself also. Okay? So, that's it for today, class. Thank you so much for um, participating and being so active. Mr. GP really appreciates that one. So, continue doing it, okay? Okay. Bye-bye, class. See you around. Bye. Stay safe.